Welcome back to my channel from the beautiful city of Nantes. I arrived about half an hour ago and I just put some makeup on so that I don't look like I slept three hours last night. And yeah, so today I'm thinking of going visiting some bookshops, maybe having a nice glass of wine in a cafe. There's a rooftop bar which may or may not be open because the, uh, the weather is kind of not summery. And yeah, let's go. Nantes has a surprisingly large array of bookshops, each with a different theme and all worth exploring. Some of my favourites were Librairie Coiffard Nantes, which is over 100 years old, and that of Les Bien Aimés, which doubles up as a coffee shop. Then, it was on to explore a temporary pop-up sculpture exhibition in the Place Royale. Created in 1786 in the very heart of the city centre, the public arc-shaped square is characterised by its regal fountain and wide array of well-appointed buildings. Today, the area is home to a large number of bars and cafes where you can relax, grab a coffee and simply sit and watch the world go by. Before I knew it, I was sat in the shadow of a gothic church watching the sun go down with a crisp glass of rosé on my hand. It was time for bed and I was ready to get up the next day and explore the rest of Nantes. Have you heard about summer snow? When it falls on you, your Following a delicious breakfast at Azai, a delicious restaurant serving breakfast foods and lots of vegan dishes, it was a stroll through the Buffet district, which is comprised of secret gardens and medieval buildings, as well as newer house mania style architecture, which is similar to that found in Paris, i.e. the French capital. Could it be the morning of the spring? One of the top things you need to do while in the city is to head to the Chateau des Ducs de Bretagne, i.e. the castle of the Dukes of Brittany. Once in a month's time, Nantes was a city where the Dukes chose to rule their kingdom. Though the Sassamon is now administratively in the Pays de la Loire region of France, Nantes retains a distinctively Breton feel and is also where Anne of Brittany, twice Queen of France, resided. Do you ever feel like going back? During your time at the Chateau des Ducs, you should also pay a visit to the Nantes History Museum, which is housed within the castle walls. Spanning several rooms, the museum explores the city's history from Roman times right up until the present day. One part of the museum aims to educate visitors as to the part that Nantes played in the slave trade. Today, visitors can gain a sobering insight into the role the city played. Nantes was responsible for over 40% of France's involvement in the transatlantic slave trade, a fact that the city has found it hard to come to terms with. Around a 10 minute walk away, along the banks of the River Loire, Nantes now has a memorial to the abolition of slavery. Free to visit, this humbling underground urban path memorial has facts, figures, maps and a timeline. You read until your legs gave way Then you cried and got back up again And it's real to think that I could fly Cross a broken bridge in the fading light Never thought ahead of my two feet Never had a care in the world you see Around a ten minute walk away from the Palais des Ducs, you'll soon discover Nantes Cathedral. Free to visit and easily one of the best cathedrals in France, 
Knorr Cathedral is pretty unique in that it all but burnt down during restoration works in the mid 20th century. As a result, much of what you see today is actually a reconstruction, including most of the magnificent stained glass windows which shower the ecclesiastical building in various hues of golden colours. As well as the tombs of several notable figures from throughout North's history, one of the most unique things about the cathedral is that you can actually go underground to explore the crypt for free, and this is where you can see the cathedral's treasury, a wide array of beautiful ornate items from throughout the centuries. After soaking up much of the history that North has to offer, End your day the right way by soaking up the vast view in Nantes. Located at the very top of Tour Bretagne, Le Nid Nantes offers an indoor bar as well as a wraparound terrace which offers panoramic 360 degree views of the entire city. The quirky and whimsical bar is the brainchild of non-born graphic artist Jean Julien, and there's no other way to explain the space than to say that the bar and the installation are pretty much one and the same. After all, as soon as you step out of the elevator, you'll be greeted by a larger than life sleeping part heron half stork. Yeah. And you dream about this very night. Truth be told, the number one attraction of Nantes is actually that of the Machine de l'Ile de Nantes. To truly discover all that the Machine de Lille area of the city has to offer, you want to dedicate an entire afternoon to this weird and wonderful tourist destination. So unique is this Nantes attraction that it single-handedly places Nantes on the tourist map, with visitors from all over the world arriving in the city with the primary intention of discovering the machines of the Isle of Nantes. Do you ever feel like going back when nothing seemed to be a Since 2007, the La Machine production company has been producing impressively large constructions and fantastical mechanical creations on the former shipyards of Nantes. Particularly impressive projects of note include the 12 metre elephant on which 49 passengers can be transported across the island, just be sure to book your tickets in advance, and the almost 25 metres high marine world's carousel. of steampunk will be delighted to discover that Nantes was in fact the birthplace of Jules Verne. Streets away from the historic city centre and overlooking the banks of the River Loire, just across from Ile de Nantes, the Jules Verne Museum is dedicated to Verne's life and works. Though not as well reviewed as some of the other Nantes attractions featuring the famous author, this cultural space was opened in 1978 so as to mark the 150th anniversary since the birth of Verne himself. The whispers of pines, I hear them sing. The more you love, the more you live. Have heard from the sky all about it. Come rain or shine, one of the most unusual things you can hope to see in Nantes is actually a three-storey covered passageway, the only one of its kind in Europe. It's called Passage Pomeray, and it can be found around a 15 minute walk from the Nantes town centre. The more you love, the more you live. Construction of Passage Pomeray began out of sheer necessity. At the time, the area where the pedestrian walkway is now found was dangerous and crime ridden. The aim of the passage was to create a space where commuters could safely pass through the city, shops could sell their wares, cafes could serve coffee, and apartments could be built on the upper levels. Have you heard about summer snow? When it falls on you, your blood runs cold. But don't you sweat your pretty skin. And finally, one last hidden gem I want to draw your attention to before I finish this not travel guide is that of Ile de Versailles. Situated around a 20 minute walk from the historic city centre, this beautiful green space boasts lots of water, 
plenty of parks and even a Japanese garden. It's the kind of place where you can enjoy picnics in the summer months or simply stroll, sit and watch the world go by. And so, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed all of the best things to do in Nantes, as well as a brief history of the city. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. See you later. Bye. When nothing seemed to be a drag, you read until your legs gave way, and you cried and got back up again. And it's real to think that I could fly Cross a broken bridge in the fading light Never thought ahead of my two feet Never had a care in the world you see Have you heard from the sky?